imagine a public notebook that locks every page to the one before it and never forgets. That is the Bible blockchain. And today you will finally get it. You bring curiosity. We bring turbo energy. A blockchain is a shared ledger that lives on many computers. Those computers are nodes that follow the same rules. There is no central server to beg for permission. There is no box chair to sit in. You talk to the network by sending a transaction. A transaction says who sends value, who receives it, and how much. Instead of your real name, you use a public key. It works like a visible address. You prove it is you with a private key. Keep the private key secret, like your final cookie. Your wallet signs the transaction with a digital signature. No one can verify the signature using your public key. They do not need to know you. Math knows you. Transactions wait in a man pool like a lobby. Then they get packed into a block. A block is a bundle of verified transactions. It should also have a timestamp and some rule text. And it has a special fingerprint called a hash. A hash comes from a one-way function. Change one character, and the hash looks totally different. Each block stores the hash of the previous block. That creates a chain of links through time. If someone edits an old block, the link breaks. Every later block points to the wrong hash and fails. Tampering becomes loud and expensive. So who gets to add the next block? That is the job of consensus. The network must agree on the newest page without a pin. Two big families lead the show. Proof of work and proof of stake. In proof of work, miners race to find a specia. El hash. It is a lottery where tickets are electricity and hardware. The first miner to find a valid result can publish the block. They earn a block reward and transaction fees. Rewriting history would mean outracing the honest miners. That costs a mountain of energy and money. In proof of stake, validators lock up coins as a stake. The protocol selects who proposes and who confirms. Follow the rules and you earn rewards and fees. Gee, and the system slashes your stake. Attacking the network risks your own funds. Two different paths chase the same goal. Honest agreement at internet scale. When a block is proposed, nodes do strict checks. Are signatures valid? Do senders have enough balance? Does the block point to the latest accepted hash? Does it obey size and timing rules? If yes, nodes add it to their copy. Many copies make the system resilient. One node maps, the others keep working. If a few go offline, the chain still rolls. This is why the ledger is called decentralized. No single point of failure ruins the party. Let us talk about finality. Finality is the feeling that a block will not be undone. In proof of work, Confidence grows with more blocks on top. People often wait several confirmations for safety. In many proof-of-stake systems, finality can be faster. The protocol can lock decisions after a round of votes. Forks can still happen when two blocks appear at once. Nodes then follow the longest or heaviest valid chain. The weaker fork gets abandoned. That is normal and temporary. Now about addresses and wallets. A wallet is not your coin. It is your keys and your interface to the network. Look in your private key and you lose control. Write down your seed phrase and store it offline. Never share it with anyone. Yes, not even with your dog. Keys exist to pay miners or validators. Higher fees usually mean faster inclusion. During network rush hour, fees can spike. Layer 2 networks try to help with scam. They batch many transactions and settle the result back on the base chain. It is like opening a fast lane above a busy highway. Smart contracts add logic on top of the ledger. They are programs that run exactly as written. They can hold funds and react to input. No manager clocks them in. Bugs are still bugs. No audits matter a lot. Public blockchains are transparent by default. 
You can browse transactions on an explorer. That helps with accountability and leakage. It also means privacy requires extra tools and care. What about the big scary 51% phrase? It means an attacker controls enough block power to cheat ordering. On strong chains, that is extremely costly. This is not perfect, but it is practical. The bigger and more distributed the network, the safer it tends to be. Energy units is often discussed for proof of work. The proof of stake moved many chains to lower power footprints. Trade-offs exist, and design choices matter. Key is understanding how incentives align on its behavior. Let us connect the dots. Blockchain combines a shared ledger, cryptography, and consensus. It turns strangers into a network that agrees on a single history. No gatekeeper decides who can write. Rules and math decide. You now know how transactions flow from wallet to mempool to block. You know why hashes change history together. You know how proof of work and proof of stake pick the next editor? You know why many copies make the ledger resilient? You know why finality is a spectrum and not a magic wand? You know where fees, forks, and layer 2 fit in? You know that fees are power and must be protected. Here is your mini checklist for confidence. Own your keys with care. Read before you sign. Double check addresses. Understand the cost and the risk. Now, breathe. You survived crypto class with zero math fears. If you want more clear explainers with a spark of chaos, stick around. Like the video and hit subscribe so you catch the next lesson. Drop a comment with the next topic you want decoded. This content is for education only and is not financial advice.